Hello and welcome to another video from the Amateur Machine Shop. A few weeks ago I released a video on whether or not to buy a new or used bandsaw and was it really worth fixing a used one. Since I went with the used route, I recently found a new half horsepower electric motor in a buy and sell. The gentleman was asking $100 and I offered him $90 and he took it. I found the motor at the Princess Auto Store website so I paid less than half of the cost of a new one. Let's get started with swapping the motors. A quick shot of the new and old motor that will be replaced. The old motor is a one third horsepower common furnace blower motor. The first thing I did was to disconnect the wiring. I then remembered I had recently used it and unplugged the saw. It is easy to forget safe working practices when in a hurry to do something. I had forgotten that the wiring all had quarter inch female disconnects already crimped on. This made the install easier and much quicker. Four bolts and nuts hold the motor in place. Loosening each allows the motor to simply be lifted off the mounting bracket. Next, the pulley needed to be removed from the old motor shaft. I thought loosening the set screw and prying the pulley off would be all that was needed. Ended up applying a little heat to expand the cast aluminum pulley and then it came off with relative ease. The motor was placed on the bracket. You will notice the long slots for the motor to be mounted. This allows for a variety of motors to be used and a lot of positioning options. The pulley was placed on the shaft and then came lining up the motor pulley with the gearbox pulley. I struggled a bit getting the motor tight and lining up the belt with the pulleys. I should have used a C-clamp to clamp the motor base to the bracket. That would have allowed the positioning to be kept in place. The bolts and nuts were hard to tighten with only two hands and two wrenches. Previously I had configured the wiring to allow for 110 volt and counterclockwise rotation. I tested the rotation by plugging the motor into a 110 volt outlet, hence the two blue disconnects that I removed during the install. 
Again, since the wiring already has disconnects crimped, all I had to do was plug in the female connectors to the corresponding male terminals. For the ground wire, I decided to strip the wire and screw it in place. I didn't have fork connectors and the screw will easily hold the wire in place. I notice when the belt is placed on the low speed, the motor can easily start. However, when the middle or the high speed are chosen, I had to take the pressure off the belt to get the motor to start. Not sure if new bandsaws like this have that same issue, or if I should have gone with a 3 quarter or 1 horsepower motor. Anyway, I will make do for now. It should have a little more power to cut through steel. If you like this video, please subscribe and leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching.